your Christmas skills and boys. There's now three of me. I know, could life get any better? But you have to deal with it. As cringe or as embarrassing as it may be, there is multiple of me. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to easily clone yourself um, with using Adobe After Effects. So I accidentally recorded it in 720, so you can't see the text that well, but it's pretty fine because it's so simple to do. So you get your three clips of you, uh, everything that you want you to be in, All right? So you choose your top one, uh, you get your, your little pen, and you quickly just draw around you nice and close as possible as f well to where you're going to extend roughly and um, then as soon as that's obviously masked it'll pop onto the next one uh, and you're there anyway so try and find out where you get extended to and you're the one obviously just checking your left side make sure you stay in it if not um, you see there you'll see where my hand sort of clips into it uh, so you obviously get check out your masking bit below and you'll get your stopwatch you click on the stopwatch um, which is there so and it'll create a little timeline thing so wherever you extend it to obviously you click your pointer click outside the mask bit and just pull it slightly so as your body's moving as you can see now I'm inside it all right so where I clipped it before it'll pull the mask out to make sure I stay within it and I didn't need to really move it about anymore there I'm, the, the video ends here anyway uh, so the rest is going to be cut out no matter what right so obviously just change the feather a little bit to just to blend in the colors slightly um, and that's pretty much that one finished so we'll move on to the next one um, and that is me stood on the right now obviously there's still the one in the middle to go but I will magically appear in seconds too so you click your pen again you obviously get it right back to the beginning uh, just check it out click on your pen and then you just obviously just dot 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 quite a few dots around here because you definitely will be moving the mask as the as time goes on so just connect the dots and boom you're there so obviously click on your middle you get your mask out uh, find your stopwatch uh, and well do your feather a little bit for the for the hell of it you know just get your feathered like 10 14 area it's all it's always seems to be about good so move it across see where you start moving to as you can see your hand starts clipping so clicking on the stopwatch and clicking out click on the arrow click outside the box and now you can start moving the mask as it goes yeah this isn't the yeah you do it frame by frame but I'm not really trying for anything professional here so I'm just trying to keep it short and sweet so you can see my leg starts going so I'll pull it across pull it out and move it again and watching my legs watching my hands everything's okay so far and there we go my short so now we pull it outwards pull it outwards this is why you need a few where you're going to be moving because things pop in and out quite quickly and you, and you don't want to be moving big sections you want to be moving little areas so it's not as obvious yeah it causes you more grief and hassle but it, it adds to the illusion rather than being big big boxes so you just keep it short and sweet moving that out this this will take up a bit of time especially doing it frame by frame um, this will take up quite a bit of time so as you can see I mean looking on the on the left side it left side seems pretty flawless left side you can't can't really tell the lighting's really nicely done there um, but unfortunately my shadow of this box uh, is very obvious to be seen at the end of end of the footage um, but hey ho it's just a quick a quick guide in how to clone yourself so obviously spending more time doing this kind of shot will make it seem you know more more smooth and, and look a lot more graceful fortunately uh, the guy in the middle wasn't doing any arm extensions at this point because 
it would have definitely clipped straight through each other and at my skill level I wouldn't I d I don't know how I would have fixed that <laughs> without just retaking the shot. So just moving all this up so so I know my arm's coming up so I can just like move it up now. Make it quite big. So it should be maxed out nearly at the top. Okay, there we go, there we go. And okay there, just the bottom bit. Should be smooth. So now I can yank all that in because I know I don't come out again. Uh, so I can keep it pretty much out the middle guy's way because the arms go up in a second. Just keep going. As you can see, everything's starting to come to the side now. I've got to just make sure that they ain't popping across. So I did see that as my arm dropped. So look at that. That's very close. They were very, very close. Both the hands. So I've just got to make sure the head doesn't start going now. So I did see that just in case. Uh, nothing else to really worry about. Everything else seems pretty smooth. Um, that is roughly it. Obviously, just feather it and, and tweak it to your heart's content. So, obviously, the video does stop about here. So, you see me starting to get off the bed. I didn't really need to change anything else. So, I just like sh shorten the video at the top bar. Yeah, that blue bit there I'm grabbing now. Pull it down. That's where the video ends as I'm just getting off the bed. <laughs> so, yeah. Now you obviously check it out half, half the size or whatever, quarter it, and just preview it. And it should all look. I, you see the shadow on the right. You know, you can see it all boxy because what you'll be able to see it change as the, the rendering, as I go with the uh, clipping. But, you know whatever it's just a it's just showing you how to just quickly clone it so it's fine you probably won't even notice that unless i told you about it so hey ho anyway that's it guys that's how to clone yourself very easy